Hey, what's up, everyone? My name is Colby, or as I'm better known as on Twitch, Instagram, and YouTube, Serial Killer. And in today's video, I actually do something I haven't done on the channel before. I am actually reviewing something that is on Kickstarter at the time of recording this video. So I was given the chance by Goblin Trays to review their uh, product, the Goblin Tray. And the cool thing about this is it is a card tray as well as a token holder. And they are magnetic. You get a few of them and they connect together. And so it's really cool the way these set up. And then whenever you're not using them, you can flatten them out and they connect together. So um, with that, I want to say a special thank you to Goblin Trays for giving me this opportunity. Um, I am not a huge streamer at all or content creator. Um, I don't have a huge following on my videos. And so it's really cool that Goblin Trays um, had enough faith in me to be able to make a video for them. So I want to say thank you for letting them or for them giving me the opportunity to be able to do this. It's always something I've wanted to do and I've always been interested in. And I am not getting paid for this video. Um, I am not getting reimbursed or anything. I just wanted to be able to uh, get a prototype, test it out, and uh, give my thoughts on it. And so in this video, I will show you how all of the trays come packaged. I will show you, um, do they fit metal coins, which is something I was asked on, I believe, Facebook. If they fit metal coins, I will show you if they do. Um, do they work with sleeved cards? I will show you that as well. I will show you how the magnets work, how they work in general. And um, then I will also give you kind of my positives and negatives about uh, the trays and the Kickstarter itself. And so with that being said, uh, before I get into it, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out. And if I see that enough people are really interested, I will start doing more reviews. I will do reviews of some of the board games I already have. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to start working with some other companies as well, do some more reviews or some previews for some of their games. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Goblin Trace. So first off, I thought I would start by showing you how the Goblin Trays came packaged uh, to me. So as you can tell, the uh, packaging is really nice. Um, it's taped all over to make sure nothing uh, comes loose. And when I squeeze on the box, I can tell that there is some kind of foam in here holding them in place. And if I shake it, Nothing moves around at all. So the packaging for this is fantastic. Um, but I wanted to show that to you all first. And now I will open the packaging off camera and I will come back and give you my first impressions of the goblin trays before I have used them. Here is what was inside of the pink wrapping. I was really impressed to open it up and see the actual goblin tray uh, foldable and magnetic storage tray actually printed on the box. Um, as you can tell, it's perfectly fine. Um, this little dent up here means nothing because when you open it up, you will find the foam sheet here. And then you find the goblin trays actually set down into their own uh, piece of foam so they won't move around or get damaged. And that is so cool. And all of them come... Uh, connected together. Uh, the magnets are really strong, like takes a lot to take them off. Uh, I really like that the, uh, they pressed in the goblin tray name onto the trays. The back is kind of a faux leather kind of feel, real smooth, real nice. Um, then when you flip it over, um, it's the same kind of felt. Uh, my wife said it feels like a pool table and I would have to agree with her. 
And so, um, I mean, it's really nicely done. I know it's hard to see, but the stitching and everything on this is top notch. Um, it is pretty fantastic the way it's set up real easy to put them together. So that's all it takes and they are ready to go unfold it. And you can actually just put them back together. You can keep, keep them in the box and this will slide into a calyx or other, uh, shelving unit if you want to. And again, I mean, just really nice setup, really easy to use. Um, and it's just awesome the way these are set up. So with that being said, let me go ahead and take them out and I will kind of show you how they work uh, with all of them connected together. So this is the six that I got to test out um, connected together. As you can tell, there is a lot of room in here for cards. And then on the top, you can put the tokens if you want to. Um, the cool thing about it is, I mean, they connect however you want them to. Um, and so, I mean, and they're sturdy. Like these things will not come apart without a little bit of force. And like you, I'm shaking it. And as you can tell, the top is not coming off. It finally came off after I shook it hard enough, but um, you can even set it up like that to where you can have six areas for different cards. Say you need five areas and a token, boom, done. And so it's really nice the way these are set up. I mean, they really, you can put six across. I probably wouldn't go any farther than that, but it's just awesome how uh, strong these magnets are. Like I'm sitting here, you know, it takes a lot to make these fall off. And so uh, the magnets are great. The trays themselves, they work really well. They fit together really well. And um, so, yeah, I guess the real question is how do they work with metal coins, sleeved cards, all those kind of things. So let's go ahead and take a look at how they work with metal coins and sleeved cards. So first off, I thought I'd go ahead and just show you. I had somebody ask me, I believe it was on Facebook, if this would hold uh, metal coins. And it holds metal coins perfectly fine. Um, these coins are really pretty heavy. These are actually from the uh, Nanty Narkin Kickstarter. And I mean, they are heavy. There are quite a few of them and they don't have any problems at all staying in the token holder on the uh, goblin trays themselves. So just wanted to show that to you real quick. They're easy to get out, easy to put in. They just kind of slide up and um, yeah, I mean these holders are real strong magnets. They don't, they don't really move. Um, you might see this move just a little bit, but nothing too crazy. And I mean, they're really strong. Like I'm pushing down and it took a lot for that to just happen. So, um, I think you could, you would be able to hold metal coins in these perfectly fine without any problems. So this is what it looks like with a game like Madara. Um, we actually have all the consumables and everything all split up here. As you can tell, they're easy to see all of the tokens on the top for health and all of the different uh, immunities and different things like that. We have other little um, markers that we use instead of using these. So this works out perfect for us. And it's a lot better than what we were using. I actually 3D print stuff as well. And I had 3D printed this and this was what we were holding all the cards in. But as you can tell, whenever they are in here, you can't tell what they are. But with this, they just lay out right there. And when it tells us to pull a random one or anything uh, in the game, we can do it from here without seeing it. Just pull out the card and there we go. And so it's really nice. Um, the way that this is set up is great, especially since you can just move these around if you need to, if you don't need the immunization tokens and you need another card slot, boom, you can do that. And then if you have other cards, like say consumables that you need to put out, 
there you go. And you have it all set up. You have the tokens, you have everything in a line on the table, and it is just really, really nice. I was really impressed. Um, I was really surprised at how much I liked having these on the table with a lot of the board games. They really don't take up a lot of room, and I've 3D printed so many different things to use uh, while playing games, especially for cards, that the table was getting so just cluttered with tons and tons of different card holders. But now this is all pretty streamlined, easy to use, easy to change however you need it to. And so I don't have to have 10 different types of holders. I just have this one and it takes care of all the tokens and the cards and it's really nice. And the great thing about it too is if you don't need that many big cards, you can move these and then even use smaller cards in there as well. And so you can change it out and all of these are sleeved. So you can tell it holds sleeved cards really well. Um, I've also got um, some dragon shields here that I have on my uh, flesh and blood deck. And so I can slide those in here easily and there's plenty of room to get them out, put them in. Um, so yes, I know there's been a lot of questions. These will hold sleeved cards, which is fantastic because me and my wife pretty much sleeve every single one of our board games. So we keep a lot of the uh, card sleeve companies in business because we're buying so much, uh, so many card sleeves all the time. But like I said, these are great. I love them. Um, with that being said, I will go ahead and take it back up top and give you um, a little more rundown and give you my positives and negatives of the holders as well as the Kickstarter. So there they are. There's the Goblin Trays. Um, I have to say, <sighs> these are awesome. I absolutely love these. And I think they are going to, no pun intended, but be a game changer um, on the way me and my wife uh, kind of set everything up on the table while we are playing. Uh, the trays are nice, and the fact that you can move them around, you can change them, you can do all those kind of things to fit the different games that you're playing, I think it is fantastic. I love everything about these. Um, they are awesome. Like, the, the quality is fantastic. It is great. Um, I mean, I, I'm just blown away by the quality on them. The quality is great. The, the way that they work, they fit tons of cards. And yes, they, as you can tell, they do fit sleeved cards. They hold metal coins. They hold the cardboard coins. They hold everything you need them to. And they are awesome. I would highly recommend this. Um, I think it's a great product. I think there's a lot of awesome things going on with this product. Um, the only real negative thing I have on the, uh, trays themselves, let me see if I can get it on camera here for you really quick. It's nothing major. Um, let me go ahead and work on that and see if I can get them on the camera. As you can see here, there's just a little bit of discoloration where the pieces connect or where they're on the table and might slide around. But besides that, nothing. I mean, that's going to happen. You're going to get wear and tear on everything. And I mean, that's not even enough to really cause any problems with my review on these. Um, I just wanted to kind of show every little bit that I can um, that I feel like somebody might worry about. But honestly, that's nothing to worry about. It is perfectly fine. It's going to happen. And um, yeah, I mean, these things are spectacular and kind of like I showed earlier, like if you look the way that these are just put together, it is solid. Like, I mean, that's not coming apart. That is just, it's an awesome piece. It's definitely worth, uh, checking out. 
And I highly recommend uh, these to anybody that wants to have nice holders for their cards and their tokens. So with that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the Kickstarter page and kind of talk about that for just a minute. All right, so taking a quick look at the Kickstarter page here, um, I mean, it's set up really nicely. Everything looks great. They've got videos, reviews. We're going to get uh, dice set with the stretch goals. They've got video of how it all works. As you can tell, they all fold together. They can be put into board game boxes. And so it's really nice um, the way the Kickstarter is set up. Um, I mean, look at that. That's just crazy to see how many you can hold together and not have anything happen. And so, um, as you can tell, you can set it up in many different ways. It works great for all different types of board games. As you can tell, here's the kind of layout, um, of the trays themselves. Uh, they've been heat pressed, the specs on them. You can see that they are two inches tall, three inches, uh, deep three inches wide. So, I mean, there's almost four inches deep, so it's, they're really nice. Everything's set up really well. Um, I think this might be a problem for some. They are a little bit more expensive. Uh, they're about 12 bucks a piece. Well, it depends on which one you get. So about 10 to $11 a piece. Um, but I feel that they are definitely worth it. Um, the shipping really isn't too bad either, about 12 bucks for six of them. And that that makes sense. Um, I love that the creator of them is somebody who just loves board games. And this is their first uh, Kickstarter they've ever done. And so I know that'll be a red flag for some. Um, another thing that might be a red flag for some people is... Um, they really haven't been too communicative on the Kickstarter, which is a shame. And I understand that um, this is their first Kickstarter, so things like that will happen. But um, I can honestly say I haven't had much communication with them. I was told that it was that these were going to be shipped out to me, and about a week later, I got my tracking number. Um, but this is shipping from overseas, and so we are definitely dealing. I'm in the U.S., and I believe they are in uh, China or Japan, I believe. And so different times, obviously. Um, and so most of the time when they're awake, we're asleep in the U.S. So um, things like that, it's, it's not a huge deal to me. Um, they have been trying to be more communicative in the uh, Kickstarter comments and have been trying to do more of that kind of thing. Um, so that is nice. Um, and so there are seven days left on this Kickstarter. And I guess the real question is, would I feel comfortable backing this uh, with it being a first time uh, Kickstarter and first time for this company. And I can honestly say, yes, um, I plan on ordering six, uh, of these and I absolutely love them. I definitely think they are worth it and, um, they will be a great addition to anybody's, uh, gaming setup if you have the money to do it. Like I said, I think that's the biggest negative to me is how much they cost, which I understand why they cost that much. And it's just kind of the times we live in, unfortunately. But I would definitely recommend these to anybody who is looking for uh, good card holders and token holders for their game nights. So with that being said, thank you all so much. I hope you like this uh, review. If you did, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. I will be doing more videos um, moving forward. And yeah, with that,
Thank you so much. Again, thank you to Goblin Trays for giving me a chance to review this awesome product. I highly recommend it. It is a definite yes from me. Back this, get these, you will not regret it. And um, with that, again, please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. Um, and that way we can grow together and we can have fun with these videos. So until next time, thank you all so much. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Um, hope you have a great day. Happy gaming. Bye-bye, everybody.